Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, and tonight I thought we would do a video on applying liquid white to our canvas. A lot of people have problems with this, they either don't put enough or put too much. And again, this is my method, and this is what works for me. But what I normally do before I start is I always shake. I'll shake my liquid white. <clears throat> and I keep a keep a napkin on the lid because <laughs> you get this stuff on you, it'll follow you everywhere you go. And it's easy to get on you. If you can see this in the camera, when you shake it, the lid normally picks up enough to do your painting. I'm using a two inch brush. It's kind of ragged and you want to use a kind of a raggedy whooped up brush because this will make a new brush raggedy. But what I do is I'll, I'll just dip it right into the lid. You can see that's all I'm doing dip it right into the lid and when I come up to the canvas I'll make some little spots just tap it on the just tap it on the canvas in different areas and then one thing that I like to do that some people do some people don't but I like to when I put my brush on and start with the egg strokes is I like to keep my brush to where it's in constant contact with the canvas and the reason for that is to me it seems like it puts more of an even coat on where if you if you come up here and you're doing this if you got correct light you can see it at an angle it'll leave blotches and you'll get too much built up one spot. But if you can if you can keep that brush on the canvas and, and not have to lift it off, which I'm moving my I'm moving my canvas around quite a bit because you have to apply pressure to this. And I don't have this canvas or this easel. I don't have it fixed down to the glass table the way I'd like for it to be but that's that's basically all I'm doing is just making the egg strokes and I'm keeping my brush in constant contact let me swap hands you may be able to see a little better keep the brush to where it's constantly on the on the canvas and you're you're dragging you're dragging that liquid white into the into the teeth of the canvas, actually forcing it into them. It's not it's not an easy bend the cloud kind of stroke. It's I mean it's you can hear that well I guess you can hear that brush. I mean that's that's how that's how rough you got to get with it sometimes. You want to make sure that 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 liquid white is getting in the teeth of your canvas and I say teeth uh, it's, it's more like the grooves of your canvas it's uh if you run your hand over it you can feel them it's it's not a smooth texture it's it's got little grooves in it and you just you want to make sure that you apply enough pressure that that you're forcing that liquid white down into those into those teeth and into the, the fabric of your canvas. Now these canvases that I'm using they have been double gessoed. Uh, they are from Hobby Lobby. I will say that. I'm not sponsored by anybody, especially Hobby Lobby. I should be as much as I've spent there, but anyway, I'm not. Now, once I do that, 
completely as I'll come up here and do my Karate Kid strokes. You know, paint the fence, paint the fence, like on the Karate Kid the movie. And then make a horizontal. After you do the vertical paint fence, do a horizontal paint fence. Now, one of the things I do that separates a lot of people, I'll get me a clean napkin and I will mock or brush some of the liquid white out. I will take and fold it and come up to my canvas and very gently I'll rub across and you want to do it gently because if you don't you'll pick up those little your napkin will get wet or your paper towel will get wet and it'll start putting them little naps all over your canvas and you don't want naps in your painting but once you've done that you can come back up one more time and try to keep paint fence paint fence and then side to side paint fence or paint canvas and do this all over the canvas and what you have there is a canvas is ready to paint on and to test it you can come up and touch a fingerprint to the canvas and that's what you'll get it's almost like if the police picked you up and carried you in and do your fingerprints. That's what you want to see. You don't want to see no, no real blotchy white, liquid white. Now, I'm going to keep this as real as I can. I mean, you can see when this stuff gets on you, it's on you. Now, I don't, I won't be editing my videos and taking a lot of the stuff that I do wrong out because I want to keep this channel as real as I can. But that right there is about as real as you can get. Some nights I'll, before, I'll, before I finish a painting, I'll have paint all over me. But that's just part of it. And to me, that's what's fun. And like I said the other day, we want you to be happy when you paint. That's the whole goal of it. If we're not happy, then we're doing it for the wrong reason. Thank y'all again for watching. I know this was a very short video, but it don't take a whole lot of time to put liquid white on your canvas. And once you get that done, that's it. You're done. You ready to start painting. You can come in there with your sky or whatever. But thank y'all again for joining me. Uh, I'll probably do another video tomorrow. We may do it on this canvas right here. We may put a, put something together. I'll come up with something. And we'll, we'll paint on this canvas tomorrow. And I will show you tomorrow how wet this canvas still is from tonight until tomorrow. And then that way you get an idea of what you need to do before you start painting tomorrow. Have a blessed day.